everybody, Scott here. Auburn here. Today we're going to talk about the others. For sport, for security, for life. Stag Arms. All right, so today, like Scott mentioned, we're gonna be talking about the other. Um, we know it's not a rifle or a pistol, it's in that weird gray area. Um, Scott, I know you've done a little bit of research on this. I truly have hit points in my career um, with AR platforms not really understanding what the heck is the other. Um, do you have any input on that? Yeah, so the other is a category that is uh, brought about through the uh, NFA. And it's basically that purgatory area. It's that gray area that a pistol does not fall into or a rifle falls into. So, um, you know, it, it's kind of like a loophole. So you're able to um, navigate through there and come up with features that are very similar to a pistol and a rifle, um, but is considered another because of a couple of very specific things. One of them being, um, because it, it, what makes it not a pistol is the fact that it has a foregrip on the hand grip. This is this has to stay on there. So when you so when you a vertical put, foregrip a, is is really the most one of the biggest things. It's okay. one of the biggest things because what's that saying is it now takes two hands to shoot this, which means it's no longer a pistol. Gotcha. Okay, and the other thing um, that is is necessary is that it cannot have a normal buttstock, meaning it can have either a pistol brace like like a, like our SB here, or no brace at all. So just your buffer tube, and it comes like that in some cases, right? Okay. Absolutely, which is implying and it, it, that this gun is not designed to be shot uh, fired from the shoulder. Okay, so it's just again, it's it's that purgatory gray right, area. Right, so it doesn't make it a rifle. Once doesn't make it a hand. rifle. Yep. So as long as the overall length is 26 inches or more. Okay, and it has a uh, vertical foregrip that stays on there the life of the gun, and it has either no brace or a brace on it that makes it. So say uh, I take off that foregrip, what happens then? Is that kind of an issue? It changes everything. Okay. Yeah, it's no longer another. Um, at that point, it's either a pistol or an SBR. I guess it would depend on right. um, the, the specific right requirements. requirements for that so so i know there's compliance states out there i know like connecticut new jersey that this really fits into their state laws i know a lot of them really ban on the fact of an ar you know platform like a uh, like you said a rifle or a pistol mm -hmm. so now the other is an option that where someone wants an ar platform they can use it in those states um and it, it, it is a perfect setup you know it is that pistol like but yet I totally get where you have a little bit more functionality between holding it with two hands versus just kind of a freehand pistol. Mm -hmm. um, it takes more accuracy and, and thought into shooting. Um, so what is the benefit if you're not in one of those compliance states to having another? Is there any benefits to that? Yeah, um, one, one of the biggest benefits is that with this gun here, you do not have to pay the $200 tax stamp that's uh, because it's, no long, it's not an SBR. So that's, I mean, for me, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that's a big deal. Cause it's basically everything in an AR platform, you know, I know there's different variations of sizing and requirements, you know, like here at SAG, we sell lefty and righty version, um, which is awesome. The fact that we even have it, we, you know, focus on non-compliant states. The one thing that I would like to encourage people out there, you know, who are in that in between, you know, trying to make the decision of what AR you need. Do you get another, do you get a pistol? Do you get a rifle? Um, is to really pay attention to your state laws. Um, laws are changing every day, so really focus on, you know, what is your state compliance? What does it require to, for you to have an AR platform? Is this something that maybe you want to keep and use for the future? So like always, um, just pay attention to what's going on. Shop at stagarms.com and check us out on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at stagarms.